On April the 10th, 1938, Austria famously voted via referendum to join the Third Reich and become a part of Germany. This came after German troops had entered the country in March in order to stop the fascist chancellor and dictator of Austria, Kurt Schuschnigg, from holding a referendum on whether or not Austria should join Germany. The official reason the Germans did this was because they believed that the Austrian government was going to cheat and make sure that Austria stayed independent. In fact, Schuschnigg was so desperate not to be annexed that he even legalised opposition parties on the condition that they campaign against unification. Anyway, German troops entered Austria and the German Reichstag passed legislation that annexed the territory on the condition that an Austrian referendum approve. The vote for the annexation, called the Anschluss, was approved by 99% of the country on a 99% turnout. Sounds legit. Also, the ballot looked like this, with a much larger and central Jahr circle making it clear who you should vote for. Also, the ballot wasn't secret and our members of the Waffen SS were at polling stations. So, the question surrounding all of this is how popular was the idea of the Anschluss in Austria? Whilst the conduct of the referendum makes it seem like it was forced upon the Austrians against their will, the truth is not so simple. The notion of Austria and Germany being unified was not a new one and could be traced back to the unification of Germany. After the First World War and the dissolution of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, Austro-German unification became a popular force, but any such notion was forbidden in the Treaty of Versailles. In fact, unification with Germany was considerably more popular in Austria than it was with Germany during the early interwar years and was particularly strong amongst veterans of the Great War. You see, many Austrians felt that the Peace of Versailles was hypocritical since it gave all of the peoples of the former Austro-Hungarian Empire the right to self-determination, but none was given to the Austrians. So, using the 1927 election as a demonstration, we can see just how popular the idea of Anschluss was with the Austrians. During this election, explicitly pro-unification parties achieved over 65% of the popular vote. The real change came in the 1930s, when in Germany some chap with a funny moustache took power and Austria itself had a fascist coup. The rise of Hitler turned the left-wing Austrian parties away from Anschluss because whilst they wanted to be a part of Germany, they didn't want to be a part of that Germany. The fascist government quickly went to Mussolini, who promised to defend Austrian independence. That was until Hitler offered Mussolini an alliance, after which Mussolini promptly stopped caring and did nothing when the Germans took the country. This just demonstrates the difficulties discussing the Anschluss. Whilst Austria was declared to be the first victim of Nazi aggression, it's important to note that many, in fact a sizeable majority of Austrians, supported unification with Germany. It's thus likely to to conclude that had the Nazis run an honest referendum, they'd have still won. I hope you enjoyed this episode and thank you for watching, and a special thanks to all of these patrons you see on screen for their generosity in supporting the show, and a particularly special thanks to James Bizonet, Party Boyko, Azarka Flash, Rob Waterhouse, Chris Wicker, Michael Reynolds, Thomas McGill, Gustav Swan, Winston Kaywood, Sky Chappelle, The Amusement Archives, Adam Harvey, and lastly, Raphael.